So you know that you should be protecting your eyes from the sun, but what is the best way? Well, in today's video, I'll go over my top five tips for protecting your eyes from the sun. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. Welcome to Saturday Eye School. I'm your host, Dr. D. Here on Saturday School, we take a look through a different lens at eye health and vision topics. This month, I'll be doing Ask the Eye Doc Saturdays, where I answer some of the most common questions I get about eyes and eye health. And Dr. D, do I need to wear sunscreen around my eyes is one of those top questions. So we're gonna go into all of that and more today. As a reminder, enrollment in iSchool doesn't require an application. So just hit that subscribe button down below to join my pupils. Everyone knows that it's important to wear sunglasses to protect our eyes and make vision more comfortable in the blazing sun. Today, I wanna to break down exactly why UV protection is important and the best ways for you to protect your eyes. So what can UV exposure cause? Well, we know that it's implicated in cataract formation. Um, it can be implicated with macular degeneration. And we also know that between five and 10% of skin cancers skin cancers in general actually involve the lids. And as statistics go, that's actually quite a few. I mean, if you think about it, um, I mean, that's just pretty common that you'll have skin cancer occurring around the lid area here. And of those skin cancers, we'll see basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell, and even melanomas can occur um, on and around the lids. The second thing UV causes are wrinkles and crow's feet, right? So we've talked before at length about how the skin around our eyes is thinner and it's more susceptible to aging changes. So it's really common to see, you know, the 11s forming here, crow's feet on the side, and even wrinkles down below our eyes. That's because UV radiation penetrates and affects collagen and um, leads to that wrinkling over time and breakdown in the skin's elasticity and um, plumpness. The next thing sun exposure, UV exposure can cause, of course, are sunspots and age spots, and most of us want to minimize those as much as possible. And finally, a couple eye-specific things that I see when my patients are exposed to too much sun without protection are pinguaculas and pterygiums. So say those 10 times fast. A pinguacula is simply a yellowish whitish growth. It's a raised area, usually happening closer to your nose. We call that nasal, um, right here on the white part of your eye. So if you've ever seen a raised yellowish whitish area there, those are called pinguaculas. And then we have pterygiums. Pterygiums are when the tissue of the conjunctiva, the white part of the eye, starts to grow onto the cornea. So if you've ever seen someone with the white part seemingly growing onto their cornea, that's called a pterygium and it can be exacerbated and caused by UV exposure. So a big question is, do I use sunscreen around my eyes? I talk a lot on this channel about being very selective about what we're putting around our eyes. You know, you've heard me talk about different skin serums and skincare things and how they're actually can be very tough on your delicate eyelids, but can we use sunscreen? So actually in theory, if you look at a lot of dermatologist videos about UV protection around the eye, and I especially like Dr. Dre, you know, she talks about the fact that you actually can use any sunscreen around your eye. They're all considered safe, at least from her dermatologist perspective, but she recommends doing a mineral-based as the best option. And that's because mineral-based is gonna be less likely to cause stinging and burning of the eyes like some of the other formulations will cause. As someone who is personally very, very sensitive to sunscreen on my face, um, I have had multiple occasions where I didn't check the ingredients like I should have and sunscreens will absolutely blow my eyes up and swell them shut. I'm very, very sensitive to facial sunscreens. So I look for, like Dr. Dre recommends, mineral-based products. So zinc oxide or zinc plus titanium dioxide 
is gonna reduce the stinging and irritation, but be very effective at the same time. You're looking for an SPF that's 30 or greater, and it is important to realize that you don't need quite as much around your eyes as you do on the rest of your face. If you're a skincare um, enthusiast like I am, and you watch any videos about how much sunscreen is truly needed on your face, um, if you're like me, it was surprising to me how much you actually have to use, but in the eye area, we don't have to use as much. And so a couple of just little dabs across here, make sure to get them at what we call the canthus on either side. This is your lateral canthus. This is medial, medial closer to the middle of your face, lateral to the side. So lateral and medial with our sunscreen, and then we do want to get the top lid as well, but one little dab of that is probably sufficient. So tinted moisturizers um, or tinted sunscreens, moisturizers work really well as well because it provides some camouflage in that eye area as well. It's also a consideration to select eye. Oh my God, my, oh, that hair was just, whew. I'm okay, I'm fine. <laughs> wow. So these are the top five. Number one, yes, use sunscreen, look for mineral base. Number two, consider getting a, a makeup, a um, CC cream or BB cream or even a foundation that has sunscreen in it as well. You're looking for 30 plus. Tip number three is a big floppy hat. That is good for covering your ears. The tops of the ears are a common place to get skin cancers as well, but it'll really give you that coverage and protect you from the sun. Um, I recently found one on Amazon that fits my big head with my big hair. And so I'll link it below if it's still in stock, but if not, there's so many cute floppy hats and they're gonna do more than fashion, right? They're gonna protect our, our whole face and especially our delicate eyes from the sun. And then I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about number four, which is big sunglasses. So sunglasses are my jam. Obviously, I'm an eye doctor, and this is what I recommend to every single one of my patients. You want UV protective, you want polarized, you want backside anti-glare on those to reduce glare from the sun, and you want them as big and bad as you are comfortable with, right? So the more protection, the better around your eyes, they are serving a purpose because ultimately five to 10% of skin cancer occurs around the eye. So it's especially, especially important to protect that area. I've said it 10 times, 10 times isn't enough. It's just so critical. So simply wearing a hat, investing in sunglasses and finding a sunscreen that works for you will go a long ways in preventing undesirable outcomes, i.e. cataracts, macular degeneration, skin cancers wrinkles. And then before I go, I want to tell you about Elta MD. So Elta MD is very commonly used by dermatologists. They love to recommend Elta MD and I love to recommend it as well. This is something that I've brought into my office now. And as someone who is very sensitive to sunscreens on my face, like I was telling you before, this is a really good one. So I'll leave links down in the description below, I do carry this in my office and I made sure to be able to put it online as well because I thought that would be a good resource for you guys. So check that out down below. Elta MD is a really, really good sunscreen. So that is it for Saturday School. Thanks for attending. This does count as extra credit, you little overachiever you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up because that's how YouTube knows that I'm putting out good content that you guys are enjoying and is helpful to you. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that now and I will see you next time.